Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the Mars Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Now they offer a total of 24 shades and I have picked out 12 of them. So as always, you can check the description box below to see the shade names and for foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I'm 310 sun beige now if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever i upload and now let's jump right in the video So first, let's quickly go over with the claims and the features of these lipsticks. Now, it says that the Mars Matte Lipsticks lets you flaunt the matte look without drying out your lips. It features opaque formula with long-lasting finish and lightweight texture. It is waterproof, smudge-proof, cruelty-free and vegan. It is suitable for professional and personal use and these are long-lasting up to 8 to 12 hours. Like I mentioned before, they offer a total of 24 shades and these are priced at 199 rupees for 4.5 ml of product so this is how the packaging looks like it comes in a beige cap in a frosted transparent tube at the bottom you have the shade name and number and this is how the applicator looks like and now let's finally move on to the lip swatches
All right, so let's go over with the formula, the pros and the cons. Now, firstly, consistency wise, it kind of feels thick and creamy, but then once it's on your lips, it does feel pretty thin and it is packed with pigments. So just with one layer, I was able to like cover my full lips, irrespective of the shade being lighter or darker. Now, these lipsticks are quick drying. So when I applied it on my lower lip and then when I did my Cupid's bow, by the time the lower lip was already dried. So if you're planning to like mix any shades, you will have to work a bit quicker and it settles into a matte finish and on the lips it is quite thin and pretty comfortable as well it doesn't feel like you're wearing any lipstick at all now these are transfer proof and smudge proof for example it is completely transfer proof now for the longevity of these lipsticks it lasted on me for quite a long time like approximately five to six hours and then i had to eat and this is how it looks like once i had a heavy meal as you guys can see the outer line is remaining and once i press my lips together it gives a very good color payoff almost similar to how it was when i initially applied it now these lipsticks are not sticky it's not powdery or crumbly or anything of that sorts whenever i press my lips together which in my personal opinion is a big pro and lastly for the removal you will have to use like an oil based product i use the garnier micellar water the oil infused one it worked like a charm because if you do not there will be a lot of tugging and pulling and even after that the color will not come off properly off your lips and now for the FII, there are two points. The first point is that there is no fragrance on these lipsticks. However, it does have a very faint smell, which smells like makeup or lipsticks. So yeah, you can get that smell only if it is this close to your nose. And even during application, I couldn't get that smell at all. Now, the second point is that you will have to ensure your lips are well prepped and moisturized before applying these lipsticks, because if your lips are chapped, it will emphasize it. And now for the cons, there are two points. The first point, as per usual, there are no swatches available online for a consumer to pick and choose the right shade. So yeah, that is the first con. The second con is to do with the packaging, especially Especially the applicator now the applicator on its own it is absolutely fine it applies the product pretty normally and everything however there is a stopper inside the tube which is a bit tight for the applicator to come out properly like I will insert a picture of what exactly I'm talking about so basically what happened is last week I was swatching these lipsticks and two of the shade the applicator broke because it was too tight for it to come out properly and it was just stuck inside and I just had a wand with me. Now this has happened to me before but those lipsticks were like at least a year old where the similar style of an applicator it kind of gets really soft inside and when you are trying to pull it out it kind of gets stuck. For example recently I tried the Flower Beauty one and the same thing happened and even for Disguise Cosmetics the liquid lipstick the same thing happened but then those were at least like a year old or year and a half old but these were brand spanking new i literally just got the product and i opened it and it broke i hope i'm making sense so for the other two shades that broke on me i actually got in touch with the customer services i requested for like a return or an exchange and i did not even have to give back the broken product they just gave me a replacement one which was really helpful but yeah, this happened, which was very heartbreaking. And even today when I was watching these lipsticks, so each time I had to open the wand, I was like holding my breath, like, oh my God, I just hope it doesn't break on me. So yeah, it is kind of a shame. On a side note, I bought these lipsticks from Nykaa as well as from Amazon. So one of the shade was actually from Nykaa. The other one was from Amazon. And in both the places, they were actually pretty good customer services. I did not have to give back the old broken one and they just gave me a replacement one. So yeah. Overall, in my personal opinion, I do love these lipsticks. Like the formula is good. The shades are beautiful. Some of them are really unique as well. But then it is really a shame when it comes to the applicator. So if you are planning to buy this, I will highly, highly recommend keeping that transparent seal on the lipstick with you somewhere safe after you remove it. Because if you have to return it or exchange it, you may need to have that. So just until that window of that exchange, keep that thing with you. So yeah guys, these were my thoughts on the Mars Matte Liquid Lipsticks and this finally wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I will try and best it for you as well as follow me on my socials with Shnayar on Instagram and Shnayar on Twitter as well. So until next time, take care. Bye.